Q Sports International and Bad Boys Billiard Productions proudly presents the 2014 U.S. Bar Table Championship live here at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada. Hi, everybody. Ken Schumann here again for our last match of the evening. One loss side action between Amar Kang and the big O, Oscar Dominguez. This is a 9th through 12th place match. That's where the loser will finish. The winner will continue on, be minimum 7th, 8th. And again, on behalf of Bad Boys Billiard Productions, Rick Jones, Bonnie Jones, Ken Jones, Brett Baker, Bill Stock, and the entire TAR crew here, along with CSI, we want to express our appreciation to each and every one of you for your loyalty and support all week. And we hope you'll stay with us right through till Sunday. So here we go, AK Amar Kang from Sacramento, California, my hometown and home pool room, Hard Times Billiards. Ready to break off here in rack number one. One last time before the evening concludes, I also do want to mention one, once more our great industry partners that have given so much support to the CSI events, the Billiard Education Foundation, along with OB, the great guys at AZ Billiards, Simonis and Diamond, of course, the Magic Rack, Kamui Predator, and our newest partner, Cyclop Pool Balls. Thank you all for what you've done. These two guys are pretty familiar with each other, known each other quite a while. A couple of California boys. And this should be a pretty competitive match right here. Nice safety there by Amar. And Oscar from Silmar, California. His dad, Ernesto, and mom are in the audience. They're actually sitting right to the, just to Amar's left behind him. And I'll tell you, there isn't a better family or two nicer men that you'd ever, ever want to meet or have the pleasure to know than Ernesto and Oscar. Oscar playing with a Mez Q. Oh, maybe about a, I'm gonna guess a year, year and a half now with Mez. And he's uh, gonna play a two rail kick here. Has a good chance to make this ball because of the six being right near the pocket. Won't be able to get on the two, but I think right now he just wants to watch a scratch. Oh, he missed it all together. If he caught the inside of the one, he was gonna scratch. And unfortunately, it is ball in hand for Amar. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of trouble out there. Just pretty much the two to the four. And he'd like to be straight in on the four either way so we can get to the five in the side. Angle off the two is heading them right at the nine ball, so he's going to have to do a little something with the cue ball to just get by the nine here. Maybe just a quarter tip a left. And that's got to stop, or he's going to be hooked. Boy, he put a little too much English on it. And from ball in hand, he is in trouble. Not the way you want to start. You know, you're really, you're almost embarrassed when you do stuff like that when you start with ball in hand. And it happens to all of us, so uh, you just gotta tough it out mentally and do the best you can here to make a good hit on the four. 
And he did watch the cue ball. Oh, it rolled out and it still dropped. I'm sure Oscar did not think he was going to come back to the table in this rack, just as I'm sure Amar didn't think he was going to do that. This is uh, truly connect the dots here. Uh, by the way, I have uh, confirmation for tomorrow that the eight ball division uh, will begin play at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Now, none of that will be on the stream tomorrow. We're going to have one pocket for you all day tomorrow, U.S. Open one pocket. And we're going to kick that off at 10 o'clock in the morning. And our hope is to bring you the final, the one pocket final, approximately 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Eight ball begins tomorrow, also at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then you'll see that on the stream Saturday. And uh, of course, the eight ball finals will be Sunday. And there's a good possibility we're going to hold the nine ball final till Sunday as well and present you two finals. And if any of that changes, we'll let you know. But right now, that's the plan. I also want to give a little bit of a, a shout out to my great partners up here in the booth, uh, Tim and Andy, of course, with big Justin, JCIN, putting everything together here. And Tim and Andy been handling the TriCaster and the camera switching most of the day while Justin's been attending to other matters. But these guys do a great job and they work pretty hard at uh, what they do. And I'm, I'm proud to be associated with all of them. Balls down, but not much looking good here. Don't really see anything offensive here for the big O. The only deuce only has two pockets, the upper left or the right hand side, so he's going behind the four. And nicely done. is not an easy ball to hit. He's pretty much got to go one rail at it. And now, as you remember, in shots like this, it's going to widen out. So he's got to allow for that, or he's going to miss it on the right side as you're looking. You almost got to play to miss it on the left. And just as uh, I unfortunately suspected, with that speed, it widened out on him. Oscar's figuring out where he wants to play the two. In 2009, Oscar got uh, one of the highest honors in our game by representing us on the uh, USA Moscone Cup team. And they actually were victorious that year. It's the last time they won it was in 09. And Oscar was part of that winning side. Last year, he won the East Coast Nine Ball Championship and uh, had a uh, second place runner up finish last year in the Beijing Open in a really tough field. That's a good shot there.
So the first two games go on Oscar's side of Ledger. I think Amar is probably still bothered by that unforced error in the first game when he had a ball in hand and hooked himself on the second shot. Really got to get your wits together when something like that happens to recover from it. It's amazing how the first game of a, of a set can really set the tone for the entire match. And we saw that happen twice today to Dennis Arcuyo. He kind of butchered a couple of things in his opening game on both sets and didn't win either set. Lamar with a little bit stronger break there than most people have been using. Made a ball, but he's got a big gaggle of clustered balls down there in the other half of the table to deal with, so he's going to push out here. And I would say he's going to push somewhere maybe near the, near the six ball. Sometimes you, you, you even may kick rather than pushing out because you might get the worst of it, but uh, it looks like what he's thinking about doing here. A lot of times you're at such a disadvantage when you push, you might as well go ahead and see if you can make something happen, especially here where you can just luck a ball in and be able to continue to shoot, but it's not going to work out for him right now. Nice opportunity here for Oscar. Probably draw back to the rail. He'd like to be straight in on the deuce so he can draw the cue ball back towards the head string for the three in the side. He'll also need to maintain an angle on the three just a little bit so we won't have too big a cut on the four ball. And that's very nicely done. All right, right where his fingers are there. Now, even if he goes six, eight inches too far here, he'll be okay. He'll be able to go up and down. He just can't come short because of the five ball. And that looks like it's pretty much as good as he could do. Because he's on the cushion, he may have to just softly roll this forward and take the cut. I don't think he can get under the nine. Probably just going to have to try to either slow stop this or slam it into the left side rail. And now I kind of like like that second second option there because you can put a much better stroke on the five. And he's done that quite well. straight here. I think maybe just draw this past the side to the diamond past the side pocket and you'll play the nine in the upper right. And no problem there. He knew if he went too far he'd have the nine in the side. <coughs> Excuse me. And this to take a three nothing lead. did that and he will break now in rack number four.
Still having trouble controlling the one ball there with that break. Might actually do better to take just a little speed off of it because the corner ball is going to go anyway. We've seen that all day with the way Shane broke, especially look, look how Corey broke. I mean, he barely hit the rack and the corner ball went in. I kind of think he's got to shoot this. Got a nice path to come straight up between the nine and the three. Probably wants to stay up this side. Oh, he hit that, hit that very nice. That little bump on the three is not going to hurt him now. It'll go in the side. He'd like to play it in the corner because it lays better to get on the five ball. I don't know if the seven is blocking that now after the cue ball bumped the three. Let's, uh, let's see uh, which way he decides to go. been a little better. He didn't want this much angle, that's for sure. He would have liked that cue ball another three, four inches off the cushion. I think he'll be okay. I mean, even if he hits the other rail and bounces out a foot, foot and a half, it's going to be all right. It just makes this play uh, just a little bit tighter. Yeah, that, you know, that didn't look like it was laying good for three rails around. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he played it that way. I thought he might draw it over. Maybe he was afraid to run into the nine doing that, but it just didn't look like it was steep enough to come around, although it turned out okay. And the first four games of this match are on the side of the big O, Oscar Dominguez. Amar Kang here breaking now in game number five. slugged him and finally he got a good shot on the one ball so let's see if he can complete this run out and then it'll help him forget uh, what's happened so far at least a little bit He's okay, but uh, he held his breath for sure on that shot. <laughs> he 
he's sort of still feeling his way around the table. You know, he, ha he hasn't had much in the way to shoot ever since that first uh, opportunity where he hooked himself. He's either been kicking or sitting. Now he's uh, starting to let his stroke out a little bit, but he let it out a little more than he wanted to there. Shouldn't, shouldn't present too much of a problem, though. Hasn't decided whether to go forward or, or back. I think he's going forward one cushion. Good shot, Amar. So he gets to turn a card over. It's four to one now. Tried to take a little more off that break to control the one ball, but he still has it in just about the same spot as it was the last time. But this one's a little tougher because the cue ball's on the rail and he's got a much more severe angle. Has a very narrow opening to get to the three. So this is going to play a lot more difficult. It's a nice shot. He got all out of that that he possibly could. Now he's got to run the cue ball into the nine to stay right around there for the four. Going to have to give it just a little bit of speed though to get the three where you know to the pocket because of the thinness of the cut. But it looks like he can go full in the face. He might even make the nine here too. Yeah, I called one right for a change. All right, five to one. We're rolling right along here. That was an excellent shot on the one ball that Oscar made there. And he got a handsome reward for it. Let's see if Amar makes any adjustments here on his break. Last time he, he slugged him pretty good, made a ball, but he had that big cluster down the other end. He wound up kicking the one, remember? And it took just a little off. And the two is going to get in the way of the one going in the side. It might be time to just go all out and bank this ball. Yeah, I think that's what he's looking at. He can't, he can't win from here without playing aggressively. He may be putting the whole game on this shot, but I think he has to. I 
know if you can see right right uh, to the right of the number five there on the scoreboard that is our Oscar's family his mom dad Ernesto and to the right is Oscar's girlfriend I know it's a little dark maybe you can't make it out but uh, they were over there on the on the Mars side when the match began and uh, I think they realized maybe we better sit over here next to Oscar Really good safety there by Amar, too. Four is really tight in the side. It can be made, but you'd want to be pretty close to the ball to do it. And with the two where it is, he can certainly do that. And that's excellent position on the deuce in the corner to get close to the four. Or he can just put the cue ball on the long rail and shoot the four in the same pocket as the two. He would have liked a couple more revolutions of the cue ball, but uh, he should be okay here, just over and back. Don't need any English at all. And looks like two rails forward. a little rough, but <laughs> you couldn't see the expression on Amara's face, but uh, he, he hit that one a little bit rough. But he'll take it. See if he can do better with control in the one ball here. Significantly slower speed there. Real tight whether he can make this three or not. Might have to cheat the pocket and play it to the uh, to the long rail jaw, but I think he can do so. It's close. You know, they, are, they always kind of tell you when they say they, I mean, I don't know who they are, but they always seem to say that uh, there's always a little bit more room than you think you have, but he didn't want to take a chance. I think he's trying to make sure that he just doesn't give Amar an easy rack. And Oscar certainly has the discipline and patience 
to wait for a better opportunity. I, I would think he'd want to hit this ball one rail rather than go behind it just because it could run into the nine and stay right there. And that's what he did. And I think he got away with it. I don't think Oscar can make this. If he can, it's only going to go in the corner. Let's see if we can get that other camera maybe. make it at all. He played a pretty good save from where he was. Lamar can hit the three, no pocket. He may try to do the same thing, just just barely graze it and bring the cue ball behind the nine ball. Well, he's looking at the three, seven kick. And I think the only reason he'd consider that is because of the position of the eight ball which makes that side pocket play really big. And a lot of times when you're when you're caught between, you know, a tough safe and a tough shot, well, go ahead and shoot because you, you've got a chance to make it or you could still get safe. But if you play only the safe, you're kind of putting all your eggs in one basket. Decision making is such a critical part of a top level pool. Most of all these guys can execute, but it's picking the proper shot that sometimes sets the champions apart. And that's what he's doing. Seven in the side. And, the, and he's gonna make the nine too and win the game. And does he scratch? No. He got rewarded for a very good shot. A little bonus there. That would have been a real dagger if that cue ball dropped after that. So it's now five to three, and Amar breaking with an opportunity to pull even one rack closer. Remember, Oscar did win the lag, so he does have the advantage because he breaks in the odd numbered games. And in the event of a Hill Hill match, that's game 17. So the all-important lag may come into play. In the meantime, it's five to three. Got a great break the last game and a bad one right there. The cue ball was not going anywhere near the pocket till it got that little bump at the end. And I think Oscar is going to see if that one passes the six. It doesn't look like it does. It doesn't pass the three up here. The combination one, five, four does not look like that can go. I'd like that ball in hand on the one and not have a pocket. So all he can do here is try to get Amar on two fouls. He, I mean, he could try to carry him in the four, but what good is that? Not the best safe in the world, and I'll tell you why. He, he, he left him the, the, the rail over right there by that piece of chalk that Amar just picked up. I mean, he's got a one rail kick at the ball. Not that it's easy, but I, th I just have a feeling Oscar could have done maybe a little bit more with that. Maybe, maybe uh, shot the one into the long rail and drew the cue ball underneath the four. Again, easy to, easy to second guess from up here, folks. But uh, what Amar has to guard against here is if he hits the outside 
of the one ball, he does risk a possible scratch here in the corner. We've uh, not even come close to seeing a three foul situation come into play here, either in 10 ball or in nine ball. But he's on two now. But Oscar's going to play the run out. I mean, he's just always got the possibility to play safe and try to hook Amar if he gets in trouble. But there's no way he doesn't uh, play the run out here. Just got to pick his angle from the three to the four. I like getting the cue ball down there on the head rail for the four ball so he can come out around the eight, play the five in the same pocket. Just does not want to be straight in on the three. Either angle will work, just doesn't want to be straight in. if he can power it all the way to the bottom rail. He may have to come over here and play it off the left rail. Let's see what kind of a stroke he puts on this. Yeah, he, he did power it down and it's going to come out okay. And that's ideal. Just spin to the middle of the table here. I'm going to hit the four a little on the fat side here so you uh, widen the angle of the cue ball around the eight. That's, that's okay, but I... Yeah, it's all right. Just thought it might be a little thin, but uh, it's going to work fine. Six is further off the cushion than, than I thought. Skidded, still went, but it skidded. You see it turn over? Haven't seen much of that at all this week, skids. But uh, that one, you definitely could tell it rocked. breaking. Game number 10 coming up. So eight ball starts tomorrow, four o'clock in the afternoon Pacific will be the beginning of the eight ball event. As I said, you won't see any of that till Saturday. However, uh, the field is already well in excess of 200 players and entries are still open. I think our highest uh, number ever was in the 240s and we could get very well get close or, or even exceed that. That's much better control with a one ball. The four goes. Three's laying right in front of the side to connect. So this is really the key shot to the rack. He's got to come kind of uh, either straight up at the eight ball or uh, low right and spin two rails out. I like just a high ball here. Just come straight up the center of the table. But shade to the right of the eight ball as, you're, as he's looking at it, which is exactly what he did. So he took the hook out of play altogether. And now what he needs to make sure is that the angle on the four doesn't uh, require him to run into the six. 
It would be all right if he did, but, I mean, you know, you don't want to if you can avoid it, and it looks like he's done that nicely. Nice camera shot there, Tim. Thank you. And uh, just bring this back a foot or so. And maintain your angle on the six here. Keep it right on the rail. Good work. It's got a nice rhythm now. It's had it most of the game, most of the match. Got that uh, nice break early on when Ramar had ball in hand and hooked himself after one shot, and Oscar's pretty much taken advantage of it ever since. Hold it. I thought we were playing 10 ball and it was a race to 70. <laughs> Maybe that was one of the greatest moves of all time to throw your opponent off. What do you think, Tim? <laughs> Give him the, 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 the fake concession two games early and get him out of get him out of rhythm. Well, still no breaks for Amar on the on the break. You can't do anything here offensively. Ain't even an easy safe. I like this choice. He's trying to get behind the five or maybe bank the seven cross side with a good solid hit here. Either way, just wanted separation and uh, he got separation all right. The cue ball separated itself from the table. Just seems to be the way it's gone for AK the whole match after that opening blunder in the. Uh, I got
On the hill goes the big O. Eight to three. He's had the one ball down there almost every time. Going to put him right behind those three balls here. And Mar has only a two rail kick. Four balls the problem here. Can't really open it up off the one because the three isn't laying in front of a pocket or a real, a real easy access. Four has no pocket anyway. That's what he's doing. He's going right at the four ball. I no, maybe not. Maybe he's going to try to go into it right now, or he's going to play for the combination four nine. You can see by that camera angle, he's going to have to cut the four. Actually, what he if he's going to play it, he's going to have to cut it quite a bit or. He's going to try to go into the nine with the cue ball, freeing up the four. Oops. Well, Mar still got a little bit of life. Not much, but a little. And remember, Oscar had ball in hand, but the balls were laying really tough there. I mean, there was no, no real good way to open those up. I mean, the only other thing he could have thought to do would be to make the one and the two and play safe, one and the three and play safe off the four, opening them up and then hooking them on. But now he's going to have to kick at this. And it's not going to be an easy ball to hit.
I guess he can get by the five two rails. I thought he was a little closer than that, than that so he can get to this. Definitely play for the combination here. You're not going to try to get between the seven and the eight. There's no need to. The seven will sit right where the eight is if you play it with the proper speed. That's a smart way to play it, to leave yourself a big angle here so you'll have the same type of an angle when you go to shoot the seven, and that will allow you to come around the table for the nine ball. It's got a slide. Ooh, this is tough. At least he can reach. Well, no, he can't reach it. He's going to kick it in. This is probably easier than trying to make this with a bridge. Good shot, Amar. like to have to do that to stay alive, huh? So he gets it to One doesn't go any place. You want to get really crazy, you play a 1-9-1 one one rail, but you're going to probably sell that out unless you just whack it and draw the cue ball five feet. And he's looking at it. I don't really blame him either. Why not at this stage of the match? Bet this comes close. Oh, it caught the three. It was looking good. But it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Because he overdrew the cue ball. Two to the three is the key to the game here. Hmm. 
going to be a little tough, though, because he needs an angle on the three. Not much of one, but he needs enough of an angle to get out there so he can play the five ball. So he's not going to want to get too close to the three here. I don't think he wants to go much past the middle diamond. Well, he, he, he may be too straight to uh, get the cue ball out. Let's see if he can do it. Yeah, he don't like it, and I don't blame him. If he goes forward, it looks like he's going right at the nine. He's going to try to pop it straight across the table. Center ball hard. Nice shot. That is not an easy shot, but it's one you need to have in your arsenal if you want to play championship pool. It's just a just a tangent line shot there. Stop, stop, and it's all over. Now we'll shake hands. Nice work by the big O. Oscar Dominguez moves ahead. He's going to be minimum 7th, 8th. Omar finishes 9th through 12th. And that's going to conclude our broadcast live for the evening, everybody. On behalf of CSI, Bad Boys Billiard Productions, and the Action Report, we'd like to say thank you for being with us here today. We will return at 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time, U.S. Open One Pocket Action, all day right here on the Action Report. So this is Ken signing off. We will uh, start running some loops for you here for the rest of the evening, and we'll see you at 10 o'clock. Good night, everybody.